All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Celtic Cup tournament. I'm in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Hole number nine. I'm taking my number two bag. I'm taking my number four bag. I'm trying to lay up with a quarterback, drive the green with my big dog. And to get that done, I'm going to use a Liberty ball. I'm going to use a five power ball. Now if I can get, if I can, this is definitely a one shot at a time. If I can get up there in the right spot with my drive and stay in the fairway and get myself a really good shot so that I can start on the fairway that's on the green side without having to use any overpower. That's the, that's the goal. And it's going to be about five toss in with my big dog if I can land down here and get right where I want to be. And I'll have to pull off of my red line a little bit so that I don't roll over the top, roll over the front of this fairway area. And it is super steep when you get towards the front. If you overshoot it, you're, uh, you're in big trouble. I think this shot over here with a three power ball is basically just a concession that you're there's there's no getting up from there unless you're doing a max overpower hook. You can hit through those rocks and hit straight over here, but it's really inconsistent. I practiced that shot and tried it quite a few times and it just the deal is is that sometimes it would go where you wanted and sometimes it wouldn't. area right here three five take out three and a half rings of wind 100% accurate club one per ring put a little bit of curl on it to bring it back over towards the fairway hit it great to the left and that's about the spot I left a little bit of room there in the front but you can see how much it drops off and if you have any speed at all coming there towards that edge and roll off, you're in big, big trouble. Now, if you were going to hit over to that spot that my opponent hit to, you would have been much better off to bring a big dog. Right now, with a big dog, they actually could get over here. And a big dog has tons of curl and lots of topspin. So there's all kinds of things you can get done with a big dog. That great to the left actually helped them. That was very nicely done by my opponent. But with a big dog, they could have gotten on right there. Okay, so I have a little teeny bit of a window, not much. But I'm about five top spin. Come into this area right here. So six. It's about two per ring. There's two, four, six. Put just a little bit of power on it. Hitting it great to the right. Slow down, ball. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa. was a little short on that drive. I've been having just a little teeny bit more of a window on the other side and that was probably just a little teeny bit too much overpower. I probably could have rubbed up against the nubs and that would have been enough. I was right there on that, right there on the edge. If you're rubbing up against the nubs, that's about one ring. So my overpower was about two rings and that's why I'm off where I'm off. Perfect. In the hole. Eagle. All right. That's good. I would have liked to have been at minus 14 after the first nine, but I did. I was able to pick up a shot on the front, so that that's key. Ooh. 
I'm not leaving all of the work. I still have a ton of work to do on the back nine. I really need, I really would like to have picked up four and I only picked up one on the front. My hope was to pick up one, two on each side. And so I didn't have to leave all of the work for the back nine, but uh, I can still get it done. That one extra shot has uh, at least made it possible. I did this once in a tournament. I shot a minus 12 on the front. I really needed to shoot a minus 14. In order to have any shot at a win, I needed to shoot minus 14, minus 14. I shot a minus 12 and was like bummed, called my sister and was talking to her on the phone and playing at the same time and not really paying attention. And I looked down and I shot a minus 16 on the back and ended up winning. So it's still possible. But having at least picked up one on the front has given me at least some hope. All right, that was hole number nine of the Celtic Cup Tournament in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.